don't miss Evenings with Giants, Mars Changes Course, and Meteors from Orion. 2022 is expected to be a spectacular year for astronomy. Scientists have been ecstatic with all of the new stellar discoveries discovered by the James Webb Telescope in our solar systems, and there are a few one-of-a-kind highlights in store for sky watchers in October 2022. Every night for the entire month of October, you will be able to see Jupiter and Saturn. Then watch as Mars begins to retrograde, going westward rather than eastward for the following few months. Finally, watch for Orion's meteors the next night. The first highlight is that Jupiter and Saturn, the two giant planets, will be visible all night long in October. They can be seen early in the evening to the southeast, gradually moving westward with the stars during the night. They form a triangle with the bright star Fomalhaut. When observing this Jupiter, Saturn, and Fomalhaut star, you need to understand that the star twinkles while the planets glow continuously. This could be a quick and easy way to tell if you are staring at a planet or a star. The last time astronomers had such a stellar opportunity to glimpse Jupiter and Saturn in the night sky was in October 1963. Even with that view, it is still approximately 367 million miles away from Earth. On September 25th, the gas giant came its closest approach to Earth in nearly 60 years, and 24 hours later, it reached opposition, which means the planet appeared opposite the Sun to astronomers on Earth. Astronomers anticipate that this is the largest and brightest Jupiter and Saturn will ever be seen in decades. According to NASA, Saturn and Jupiter's closest approach to Earth rarely coincides with opposition, making this 2022's view extraordinary. Jupiter will appear its brightest and biggest sized in the sky for several weeks as a result of the two occurrences overlapping, which will not happen again until 2139. Moving on to the next highlight of the month, Mars has been traveling toward the east, as it usually does in relation to the background stars throughout the year. However, by the end of October, Mars will appear to halt its motion and reverse its course. This means that for the next three months, from late November to late January, Mars will travel towards the west rather than the east each night. Then, towards the end of January, it will reverse its course one more time and continue its travel eastward. This event is known as the retrograde motion of Mars. The fact that it happens every two years confused the early observers. Because of how our planet and Mars orbit the Sun, there appears to be a reversal in motion. The elliptical orbits of both planets around the Sun place Earth in the inner orbit. Once every 26 months, Earth overtakes Mars, which circles more slowly. During the gap between when we go around to pass it and when we start overtaking it, Mars appears to alter its course and move backward even though it is still traveling in the same direction. The illusion of Mars moving in a different direction is caused by the planet's motions when it passes by the red planet in its orbit. Let me explain that better. Mars and Earth orbit the Sun in almost circular trajectories, similar to racetracks on a track, with Earth on the inner, quicker lane. Every 26 months or so, Earth passes Mars, which is orbiting more slowly. At that point when we start to overtake Mars, and just before we round the bend in our orbit to draw away from it, it begins to look like Mars halted and began to orbit backward while, in the real sense, it is moving ahead in its orbit. Jupiter and the other planets further away from the Sun are also affected by this same retrograde illusion. The orbits that Earth and Mars follow do not precisely lie on the same plane, which adds to the oddity of this event. The two planets appear to be traveling on different tracks that are slightly off-center from one another. This creates yet another strange illusion. Imagine being able to indicate the location of Mars on a sky map every night as it moves forward, retrogrades, then moves forward again. By connecting the dots mapped out, you will map out an open zigzag or a loop motion. A pattern will form depending on where Earth and Mars are in their warped racetrack orbits. Mars appears to be shifting its course already, so keep an eye on it in the upcoming months. By observing how its position moves with respect to Betelgeuse, Aldebaran, and the Pleiades over several weeks, you can discover what formerly sparked the keen curiosity of astronomers that we now know is simply a signal of the two planets passing in the night. The last notable highlight is the Orion and Meteor Shower. The Orion and Meteor Shower is active throughout October and November, peaking on the night of October 20th. It is a moderate shower that generates 10 to 20 meteors per hour at its peak in a clear, dark sky. These meteors are fast, 
They travel about 148,000 miles per hour as they enter the atmosphere of Earth. Fast meteors can leave behind dazzling trails of incandescent material that can last for a short period, a few seconds to minutes. The Orion and Meteor Shower earned its name from the trails of its meteors traced back to a region of the sky around Orion. Meteors are made up of asteroidal particles and cometary debris. Comet dust, as it orbits the Sun, creates a trail of particles in its wake. These Orion and Meteors are bits of dust that Comet Halley shed throughout its orbit. It takes the Comet Halley 76 years to complete one orbit around the Sun, and it was last seen by casual observers in 1986. Comet Halley will not approach the inner solar system again until 2061. Every year, the Earth passes through these debris tracks, letting fragments collide with our atmosphere and then explode, generating flame and colorful streaks in the sky. Each time the Halley nucleus orbits the inner solar system, it emits ice and rocky particles into space. When these dust particles enter the Earth's atmosphere, they change into Eta Aquarids in May and Orionids in October. Keep an eye out for the long-lasting light burst when watching the Orion and Meteor Shower, since fast meteors can occasionally develop into fireballs. The moon will be around 20% full on the peak nights of this year. As a result, it will cause a little interference, but should not interfere with the viewing because it rises a few hours before sunrise. The Orion and Meteor Shower can be seen without the use of fancy equipment. Just remember to sit comfortably and watch in a safe, dark spot away from bright lights. The only thing left is to look up and enjoy the show. And on that note, we have come to the end of this video. What do you think about these highlights and which of them are you most excited to see? Let us know what you think in the comment section. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when we post a new video.